Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, looks like we're back for another fantastic stream here with Hogwarts Legacy. How are y'all doing this evening? As always, I, I hope you're doing great as usual. So, oh, it's been a it's been a long day, long day. So, uh, just a heads up, everybody that's watching, I'm not going to be streaming tomorrow night. Um, I got some things that came up here last minute. Uh, so I'm just not going to be doing stream tomorrow night. So thank you. Thank you anyways for joining here with me. All right. Uh, let's see. Is there anything I need to cover? Oh, yeah. If you're watching this over on YouTube, go ahead and like, subscribe, uh, hit the bell notification so you get all the notifications when I'm posting the next video or when I'm streaming over there. Um, here on Twitch, go ahead and follow, you know, because that helps, you know with my with my goals here building the community so greatly appreciate it as always uh that said we're going to dive right into the game here and boom get her get her done hold on Ooh, my control is a little warm yeah it was right next to my laptop uh. Okay, let's see. Where was I? Quest? I need quests. The headmistress. The headmistress speaks. Oh, it's uh, Niam Fitzgerald We're in the mat chamber. So the old, one of the older uh, keepers. Sky is the limit. Melda surprise meeting. A basis for blackmail. Outside Hogsmeade. And meet with Poppy. Worried about Snidgets. Sky is the limit. Uh, let's go ahead and do something involving some some broom racing. Oh, that's right. It's way the hell over there. Okay. Go here. And fly all the way down because that's how I roll I want to get her done mm -mm 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 -mm. Oh, nice to see you my young friend oh lord will you shut up you shut up okay so mount up oh god a lag spike Hold on, wait for the game to catch up and process. They need to put a patch out and update this shit. Oh god, it still lacks spikes. Yeah, apparently this the frame rate dips when you're outside and it's even worse. Depending on settings and such. Wait, no, that's not the way to go. That's mine. Wait, hold on. I didn't touch your helm. Thank you for making me the first object of your suspicion. Is this the way? Wait, how do I? Hold on. Where's the map? Okay, so... Oh, yeah, that's the way I gotta go. Up over that hill, right there. But for some reason, it keeps wanting to push me down. See? Why are you pushing me down? The hell? Does it require me to go through the mine? That's not what the map suggests. Oh, it's over there. Hold on. So over here, there's a barrier. How am I supposed to get over there? 
Nope, there's a barrier. What the hell? Wait, hold on. Sky's the limit. Tracking. It's way down here. That's where it's at. How do I get to it? I can't even go down there. Well, looks like something that I'm not doing is this damn race. With that said, we're going to go back to quest. Uh, let's go meet up with her. Locate all map. Where's she at? She's outside Hogsmeade. So, good. Oh, there's a poorly polygon done dragon. Okay, Hogsmeade map. Go to the most southern, southern one, and then head on down south. Get her done. kidding me just use the damn bridge gotcha are you ready to put an end to hollow yes i'm ready to do what's needed to take hollow down i know you have a plan we must gather information from the friends of mr bickle that archie and mrs bickle mentioned Agabus Filbert, Otto Dibble, and Mr. and Mrs. Rabel. All right. I suggest that you speak with each of them while I head to the Hogshead. I saw some Ashwinders heading there. And as my mother would never go near the Hogshead, she is less likely to learn of my activities than if I were to wander the village questioning its residents. What am I hoping to learn from them? What sort of information am I trying to gather from these people? They may know what evidence Mr. Bickle had against Harlow, or they may have evidence of their own. We simply need to know whatever they know. All right, we're going to find him. Where am I to find these friends of his? I do not know about Mr. Rib, but his wife, Daisy, is often in Hogsmeade, as is Agabus Filbert. And Otto Dibble, he works at Gladrags, so you will likely find him there. Hmm. I'll speak with Mr. Biggles' friends. Very well. I'll speak with them, see what I can learn. I knew I could rely on you. We need to know how they are being blackmailed by Rookwood and Harlow. Meet me here after you have spoken with them. Hopefully, by the time you return, I will be able to move a bit more freely. Oh, they're all in Hogsmeade. Okay. Some would think it's ironic that they are celebrating Christmas. Mrs. Rape should be nearby. Seeing as most conservative rights want you to believe that Christmas is the Christian holiday. Spoilers. It's not. It's a pagan holiday. Oh, Isco. What have I done? And actually has nothing to do with the birth of Jesus Christ. Who may or may not have existed. Just say it. Mrs. Rabe, I wondered if I might speak with you about Theophilus Harlow. I'm a friend of the Bickles and I'm trying to gather evidence against him. Oh. Call Joanna and little Archie. God. Frame rate and dropped. now Harlow has taken my darling Isco. What do you mean? Why? I'm a security guard at Gringotts, and my husband is a curse breaker for them. Harlow approached me about helping him extort my colleagues into giving him treasures from the vaults. And you declined? Of course I declined. Repeatedly, 
I thought they'd given up until I came home one night and found my husband gone and a note affixed to my door with a knife. The note stated that I only had a few days to reconsider helping with some banking needs and that my husband would appreciate it if I acted quickly. But the help Harlow wants is help that I cannot give and my dearest Isco is paying the price. All right, I'm gonna hold off a second here before I make a choice to get the damn game to catch up. So the frame rates will get even out. Okay, I'm guessing they've caught up. Does the note confirm kidnapping? Are you sure the note means that your husband oh God. was kidnapped? No, it what hasn't. What else could it possibly mean? Besides, I came home to find that someone had trampled the daisies in our garden. It may sound silly, but those were Isco's pride and joy. He would never have let that happen. Okay. Can I exit the conversation? Nope. Okay, I've got to push through this with terrible frame rates. Have you helped Harlow since your husband was taken? No. I'm worried sick about Isco, but he'd never want me to compromise my integrity. I also know that he's extremely clever. That said, I was hoping he would have escaped by now. It makes me concerned as to why he hasn't. He might be for the worse. Nobody took your husband and not you. Why wouldn't Harlow extort your husband? Isco's job is even more removed from the vaults than mine. He travels the world for the bank. He could do nothing for Harlow. I'm the one in the bank on a daily basis, which evidently makes me an enticing target for blackmail. That's what I needed. Thank you, Mrs. Rabe. Knowing the lengths that Harlow will go to is helpful, albeit more than disturbing. Mr. Bickle was trying to help us, but now he's gone. I don't know what to do. I shall do all I can to get evidence against Harlow, Mrs. Rabe. Very well. Here's the note I received. You must be careful as well. Please don't put yourself in danger. Hmm. Mrs. Rabe, we do hope you will consider helping us with our banking needs. We've given you ample time to reach a decision on your own, but we are beginning to lose our patience. We know your husband would appreciate it if you were to see the value in our working together. Shall we expect a response by weeks in? Best to keep this between us if you understand our meaning. Some evidence worth hanging on to. Thank you. Oh, I hope it's not too late. Oh, now, now the frame rate's even out. Jesus Christ. Alright. Okay. Okay. Otto Dibble works at Gladrax. I should check there. Is he out back? Uh, but, but, but please tell me you didn't take it. But perhaps it's been here all along. Okay, I'm gonna take a moment, pause, pull this menu. Alright, frame rate should be good. Talk with him. Mr. Dibble, may I speak with you? It's about Theophilus Harlow. I've nothing to say about him. Uh, may I interest you in a stunning cravat today? Please, sir, I'd like to help. I spoke to Mrs. Bickle. <laughs> you know the Bickles? Mm, all right, but we must be discreet. Can't have Mr. Hill hearing this. I know Mr. Hill. He was kind to me the day of the troll attack. Oh, he's a good man. But even he wouldn't understand about Harlow. It started a few weeks ago. I was distracted, reading a note when you-know-who came into the shop. I hid the note behind the counter and offered to help him. He stared at me for a moment, then asked me to check on an order he'd placed. I went into the storeroom to check on what turned out to be a non-existent order. When I returned, he was holding the note. What was in the note? It was a note from Rosie Hill, Mr. Hill's daughter. You see, we've been, well, secretly engaged these past six months. We haven't told Mr. Hill yet. I dare say he has higher hopes for her. 
Harlow advised me in no uncertain terms that my relationship with Rosie, not to mention my employment here, depended upon my cooperation. What did he ask you to do? It all happened so quickly. In an instant, he took a very expensive scarf from the counter, pocketed it, and smiled. He said, your secret is safe as long as I can supply my lady friend with delightful items like this every so often. I've been able to cover for his requests until now with some creative bookkeeping, but I can't keep it out for much longer. I'm terrified to say anything. I could never live without Rosie. Hmm. Mr. Hill seems a fair man. Can you tell him? I met Mr. Hill the day of the troll attack. He was kind to me. Why don't you just tell him? He's a lovely man. But when it comes to Rosie, I fear he loses all perspective. He'd see this as a grave betrayal. I'd lose my job instantly, and Rosie as well. How are you hiding the extortion? What have you been doing to keep the extortion a secret? Well, as I mentioned, creative bookkeeping. And I've also been trying to cover the costs with my own savings, but I'm running out of money. Of course, none of this bodes well for my efforts to improve my circumstances and to be worthy of Rosie. About the note. Could you give me a bit more detail about the note? That might help me to identify it should I come across it. It's on Rosie's special pink stationery. It has her monogram at the top, R.H. That's how Mr. Hill would know it was real. Hmm. Thank you for talking with me. Thank you for telling me. I'm gathering evidence to take Harlow down. I would love nothing more than to see him rotting in Azkaban, but be careful. He's an awful man and incredibly dangerous. As for Rosie's letter, should you happen upon it, I have committed it to memory. You may destroy it immediately. Understood. Now hurry hmm. off before Mr. Hill returns. Where was I? We're on the right track. Now to find the last of Mr. Bickle's friends. Uh, I should be right over here, up this hill. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Hmm. Excuse me. Hmm. Agabus Filbert must be around here somewhere. There they are. Alright, frame rates look good. Let's go. Excuse me, Mr. Filbert. I wondered if I might speak with you about your dealings with Theophilus Harlow. I hope to ease Mrs. Bickle's mind by gathering evidence against him. Oh, tragic what happened to Bickle. He wanted me to speak out against Harlow for an act of violence committed against me. But I feared Harlow's retaliation, and so I refused. You should have spoken out. If you had spoken out against him, as Mr. Bickle asked, Perhaps Harlow would be locked away by now. Perhaps. But... <sighs> Perhaps I would have suffered a similar fate. You said that Harlow committed an act of violence against you. Could you tell me what happened? Before my extraordinary wife, Dulcibella, passed away, she had just completed a small book of poetry. As a surprise for her birthday, one she never had the chance to celebrate, I had the book beautifully bound and plated in gold. One day, Harlow came calling to punish me for having spoken out against the Neanderthals that comprise Rookwood's lot. Before I knew it, I'd been petrified, and Harlow was rifling through my home. He found the book of poetry with its exquisite gold plating. I watched helplessly, lying there in my entranceway as he walked away with the book, laughing as he went. I was shaken to my core, still am, to be honest. I imagine you fear Harlow retaliating again, but do you mind if I share this information with Officer Singer? <sighs> I suppose I have no choice. This extortion can't go on forever. You can pass it on to anyone who may be willing to help. Harlow does not like people talking, Aloha, as you already know. I've spoken with Mr. Bickle's friend. Now to find Natty. Wait. Okay. Wait. <laughs> oh, it's that one. Of course, the one I didn't do. 
Nice. Revelio. Hit chess. Sheesh. to Natty. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. It's not like Natty to be late. She said she was going to the hog's head. Perhaps I'll find her there. Natty's been captured. Called it. Plot twist. Spoilers. Natty must be around here somewhere. Natty's wand. She can cast without it. She wanted me to find this. She's in trouble. Ravelio will show me where she was taken. Oh, back to a fox head. Who are you? Oh. Nosy little students get what's coming to them. <laughs> Rebellion. Natty must have been taken this way. I need to find her quickly. Yep. Time for a breakout. Yeah. The footprints led to this room. There must be another way forward. Rebellion. Akio. Maybe the hidden door. Natty must have been taken this way. I need to find her quickly. Revelio. Oh snap! Here we go, sneaking again. I'd better be sure I'm not seen. So tired. Revelio. When the shall. This guy. I may go to Hogsmeade later. 
stir up some trouble. They need to be reminded that we're still running things. There must be some students at Hogwarts that we could recruit. Enemies of a higher level than you will be harder to defeat. Oh. Okay. Well, I... am still stealth. I've never been afraid of the dark. Nor the dark. Imperial. Expulsion! to pay that pretty little shopkeeper in Bagan Tig a visit. Imperial. Expulsion! Shining in Liquid's eyes when he sees what I'm capable of. Uh, you hold still. Yeah, make them fight each other. Ah, I love the strategy. I used to be stationed near Irondale with Selwyn. Is that a bunch of them apparating in? Okay. Yep. There's like a bunch of stuff everywhere. Nice. The hell is that racket? There's anything else in here then? Slow and Ashwander, Executioner, after they were released their lightning spell. Huh. 
There's a guy right here. Imperial, as you wish. You are as dear to me as an augury. His voice foretells a coming rain. You are loved by my crop. Could be. Could be. Uh, whose loyalty is true and plain, you have cast a spell over my heart. I want it not undone. You have charmed me from the very start. You have always been the one. Lesebah Filbert. The book of poems that was taken from Agabus Filbert. He'll be thrilled to have this back. Nice. Revenue. Hmm, maybe we could just take this guy out. Is this if this is what the Ashwinders are, are capable of, then I actually have nothing to worry about. Shoot, I've got this in the bag. Mm hmm. How does that get me over there? Hold on. Oh, there's stairs. Awesome. I can just come up here, take all this. I wonder what that sound is there for real. Uh, my darling, my darling Otto. I have read your last letter over and over, and I am certain to read it again each hour until we are able to meet. I dread the notion that I will not see you soon, but I am not without hope. I long for the day that our engagement can be shared with those whom we love, especially my dear father. I do not wonder at your wanting at your wanting to wait until you are more settled, my love, and I know that you are doing all you can to ensure that such a situation is within our grasp. Please allow me to say that these past months of being unable to share publicly the feelings which exalt me to the utmost pinnacle of happiness have been an existential challenge indeed. And now I am off to read your letter once more. Yours affectionately, Rosie. Oh, that's so romantic. Like Otto Dibble's love letter from Rosie. He wanted me to destroy this if I found it. Don't. Don't destroy it. Keep it. Could have went up there, but I'm gonna go down here and hit this other grate right there, which has already been busted open. Who busted this grate open? Revenue. Uh. stairs is that what the fuck okay so that's a wall and then these are stairs hi, hi. we hmm. should speak to her again perhaps she'll tell us where we can find that friend of hers so he's yeah, gonna be the to say one. nothing the boss will deal with her when he arrives whoop, whoop, whoop. all flavor of wicked to be out with the dark arts imperial can't hide from me! Expulsion! 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 Protect him! Incendio! Now, 
This has become personal. Expulsion! Expulsion! Now, no, you're there. What are you, shy? Thought you could hide from me, did ya? I am hiding from you. this guy ever, like, do anything? Ah, Shit. I am at your call. Oh, 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 oh. Dog guy. He did not want to go down. Sheesh. Whatever. Hey, that's mine! How dare you do mm. such a thing to me? in his lightning spell what the hell he didn't even attempt to cast a lightning spell at least I don't think he did he must be here somewhere Who's down there? Revelio. Hello, Amora. Uh, whose box is this? Oh, well, that was easy. What the hell? That's okay. Disco Raves One. This is good rape. It is. Mr. Rape. Daisy told me you've been abducted. You spoke with my wife. How is she? Worried about you. Are you all right? I am all right. Thank you for coming. These locks are cursed, and there's an anti apparition jinx on the cells. Even Natty's skill with wandless magic cannot free us. I need you to find my wand. Mr. Rape, I found your wand. Well done. I knew it was nearby. Now, you best stand back. One never knows how a curse will react to being broken. Oh, that was very anticlimactic. Good finger. But I came in light to fire. Thank 
you, Mr. Isco. My pleasure. And thank you, my friend. We owe our lives to your bravery. I may be too weak to disapparate with you both, but I can try. You go ahead. Find Officer Singer. We will get out of here on our own. Very well. But be careful. Thank you, my young friend. Be prepared for a fight. These Ashwinders must pay. I understand. Yep, always go with the element of surprise. The element of surprise. Wait. Surprise is an element? Is it on a periodic table? I don't think I've ever seen it on a periodic table. I wonder what its abbreviation would be. Would it be like gasp or ah? Aha! Uh -huh. Like AH or something? I don't know. I thought there would be a fight. Apparently there's no fight. I've already took care of everybody. And I robbed him blind. Let's find Officer Singer and put an end to Harlow once and for all. Okay. Exit the Hogsmeade. And a stretch. Stretch, stretch, stretch. Hey, Officer Singer's already here. Oh, Not what a coincidence. Oh I should have known. And you, the troll dispatcher. Oh, thank goodness the two of you are safe. Isco Rabe told me a couple of students had rescued him. Should have known it was you two. Is Mr. Rabe all right? He is. I sent him home to his wife. Miss Onai, your mother will not be pleased to learn that you're still risking your safety pursuing these dangerous men. Actually, Officer Singer, Natty and I learned of several Hogsmeade residents who've had their lives threatened by the Ashbinders. In addition to abducting Mr. Rabe to blackmail his wife and Natty, Rookwood and Harlow have also extorted Agabus Filbert and Otto Dibble. Uh, I will look into all of that. As for the two of you, I appreciate what you're trying to do, but you are taking great risk. Next time, please let the authorities handle the Ashwinders. The authorities haven't been much help. With all due respect, officer, the authorities haven't done much about any of this. There's more to taking down an organization like the Ashwinders than simply storming in and hauling them off based on a few accusations. I must insist that you leave them to us. We shall have no further discussion on this. Natsai, you may wish to speak with your mother about this before I do. My mother will not like this. Thank you again for rescuing me. We shall speak soon. Nice. All right, cool. She's not bad. For a Gryffindor, she's not that bad. Wait, okay, so that's the main quest. Wait, what's on the world map? Oh, that's that quest. Okay, the one I can't do. Surprise meeting, where's that at? Oh, up here in the woods. Yeah, let's do it. Going to the woods. See what Poppy has to talk about. Oh, God. The Ashwinders have ceased pestering me. 
I suspect that's your doing. Thank you from me and Rosie both. We're just leaving for our honeymoon after we tell Mr. Hill of our recent marriage. Wish me luck. Oh, okay. Well, that was quick. Oh, that was Jack Dawes, too. Um. Oh, is this it? It is. Is it right over there or right over there? I think it was right over there. No. There. I can do this. I can do this. They will want to help. Is right. this where we're meeting the centaurs? Well, they don't exactly know we're coming, so it's less of a meeting and more of a surprise, I suppose. Uh, they'll understand. Once we tell them about the Snidgets, they'll understand why we came and they'll want to help. I hope you're right. Perhaps they'll be able to tell that we're sincere. There's something about them that's so knowing. It's almost unnerving. Oh, the frame rate to drop in. Helps if I could have just stood there for a second before talking to her. Hmm, centaurs are known for being wise. I suppose they are known for having an air of omniscience. That's exactly the right word. I just... never mind. What is it? It's nothing, truly. I've... we've no secrets to hide. That's right. We'll simply be honest with them about what we're trying to do. They'll have to help us, won't they? Yes, of course. You're absolutely right. We'll meet with them, tell them about the Snidgets, and I'm sure to all be fu- Oh, got cut off. Oh god, frame rate spikes. Jesus Christ. This game, I swear to god, it needs to learn to get off the mines. What do you think you're doing here, humans? Please! We were hoping to speak with you- Ah! I suppose you'd like a tale for your friends of the time you spoke to a centaur, and it spoke back. No! Never! We're here because we need your help! Enough! You made a grave error in judgment in coming here, little witch. Leave them be, Alec. We do not harm the young. It is not our way. God, the frame rates. You forget Jesus your place, Christ, old this game. fool. I'm the leader of this herd, and while you cling to our way, their kind continue to slaughter beasts like us without a care. From what I can see, they have slaughtered no one. They will leave here unharmed. Mark my words, Doran. If I ever see them again, it will be all three of your heads. <sighs> Foolish children. Do you know what happens to wizards who wander here? Now, follow me before Golden I... Golden Snidgets are still alive, and the poachers are after them. They know that the key to finding them lies in the moonlight, but they don't know what that means, yet. Please, help us find the Snidgets before the poachers do. Could it be? In the south, there is a cave within which lies what the poachers seek, a moonstone. Retrieve it and place it in the henge in the forest. I, on the other hand, must go speak with the herd. Find me after you have done this. Now the frame rates jump back up. I don't understand. Jesus Christ. So the moonlight mentioned in the journal doesn't refer to actual moonlight, but to a moonstone. What do moonstones have to do with snidgets? And why was he so certain about where we could find one? That's how you get a cliff fable.
Isn't Moonstone common? Isn't Moonstone all around us? Why retrieve one from a cave? Knowing Centaurs, I suspect he's referring to a specific Moonstone. We'll likely know it when we see it. Hmm. I trust him. Centaurs know things. I don't know, but I am inclined to believe him. What with his being a centaur and all. I am too. It is a shame how quickly he left. What was his name? Doran. That's what the leader of the herd calls him. Well, if Doran knows something we don't, I'd rather act now and ask questions later. I can head to the library and start looking into the cave he mentioned. I'll let you know what I find. Yeah. Now they are. Jesus. The, the processor that's not being used had time to catch up. Uh, okay, cool. So where, where am I going? Where's it at? Is it on the map? It is a cave to the south. Let's check Doss tomb. There's that. What? Where's it at? It's not even on the deal. What cave? Cave to the south. I hate to see a creature get put down like that. But trolls have no business in Hogsmeade. And the cave to the south. Where is the south cave? Right? Is it to the south? Hold on. Oh God, no. I don't want to deal with that. Incendio! Reducto! Nope. Back over here, then head there was south this way. Got him. Will you stop? Zoom in. She was just over here. There's a cave to the south. This way south. That was north. Dark Arts Battle Arena. Pumpkins. Jack Dolls Tomb. Ancient Magic Hotspot. Um. That's where I was just at. Troll layer. There's a cave to the south. What? What? What south cave? I am so confused. She was right here. Where did she go? What am I doing? What just got revealed to me? Revelio. Oh Lord. I am so lost. Is there a log? Outpost Alpo settings. Challenges, talents, gear. Settings, is there a log? Nope.
No. There's no conversation logs. Is there? Hold on. Shadow of the estate and behind the moons breaking camp. No, should be brother's keeper. No, fire and vice. Weasel's assignment. A surprise visit. That's what it was called, right? No, hold on. Yeah, yeah, it was called surprise visit. meeting. There it is. Copy about her plan to rescue the snidget. It involves the aid of the centaur. One named Dorn seems open to helping us. Okay. Is that it? Apparently. Sheesh. said I guess I could just leave because I know nothing about a cave okay well Quest. Good Master speaks. Locate on map, and then we'll go from there. Oh, so I gotta go there, and then down here. Travel. <laughs> then I receive an aisle. An owl. Aisle. Owl. Telling me about the stuff. Bet. I bet. Or not. Nope. Never mind. Try one. Wait, none of these places are lining up right. It's almost like they drew the map. And then they made an actual map, completely different. And then, oh god. Is that supposed to be way down there? Yeah, because there's that. That's supposed to be there. There's the tower. Welcome back. Oh, okay, fine. We're all the way over here. Just you are the talk of the school since you saved Mr. Reb and I from the Ashwinders. We have come it. so far. We should discuss the next steps in our plan to stop Harlow. Is that it? Grief and vengeance. Uh. Hello, Professor. I have news. The goblins are looking for something. Another repository. They've built drills to help with their search. <sighs> Most troubling. 
Are these repositories like the broken container I found at Rookwood Castle? They are. I fear we have no time to lose. Have a look at the map. Fortunately, the next trial is fairly nearby. It's Hogwarts. Really? It's... As you know, I was headmistress in my time. My portrait hangs in the headmaster's office. In fact, I witnessed Professor Black learn of your arrival. And I'll confess that I wondered about you. Wait, is the next trial in the headmaster's office? It is. I had hoped that when the time came, the occupant of that office would be of help to us. Unfortunately, this headmaster seems wildly unconcerned with anything but himself. You'll need to access the office while he's away. I understand. Very well. I'll find some way to get in. Good. I shall meet you in my portrait there. Until then. I'm probably going to need to talk to Professor Fig. Uh, very well. Okay. What do we got? Quest. Uh, uh, Jesus, hold on. Let me leave. How will I gain access to the headmaster's office? Perhaps Professor Fig will know what to do. Okay. Now to that update and give me a quest. It did! A polyjuice pot. Oh lord. I've got to disguise myself. Disguise. Disguise myself as Headmaster Black. Hmm. And yeah, let's go talk to her. Before I go talk to Figs, I'm pretty sure they might be nearby. Wait, hold on. Uh, they're located on that. Okay. And then that's big over there. Okay, cool. There, go to the Great Hall, talk to Natty, and then go talk to Big. Efficacy. Brain rates. Good. Good. Now I gotta wait. Jesus. Ah, I have been meaning to speak with you. I still can't believe we escaped the Ashwinders. You may not realize it, but you are the talk of the school since you saved me that day. I wonder how everyone knows about it. I told my mother in the hope that she would be more forgiving of what I have been up to if it came from me. She likely told other professors and... News travels quickly. Unfortunately, she might, in fact, have been even less forgiving than I'd hoped. She should be proud of you. If she knew more about what you've done, I suspect she'd be proud. If she knew any more about what I've done, she would never let me out of her sight again. I'm sorry. Has Officer Singer done anything with the evidence we provided? She has not. Hallow is as strong as ever. Someone needs to stop him, whether it is us or Officer Singer. If someone had stopped the monsters like him in Matabililand, my father would be alive today. What exactly happened to your father? It was a beautiful day. My mother had gone to tend to a neighbor who was ill, and so my father and I were galloping in the savannah. Galloping? Your father was also an Animagus, I take it. He could become the most majestic giraffe. And he would carry me on his back, my arms around his neck. We were on our way home when we surprised a group of bandits who had come from our village. One of them saw me just as he removed a scarf from his face. He shouted and then aimed his rifle. He didn't want you to identify him. Exactly. In an instant, my father bowed his neck to protect me and was hit. As he fell, my father changed back into his human form. When the bandits saw this, they turned and ran in fear. Magic terrified them, and then he was gone. <sighs> and it was all my fault. Your fault? How so? He died protecting me. 
If I had been capable of protecting myself, he would still be alive today. My mother and I tried to go on without him, but it became too much for us there. A few years later, we left to come to Scotland. Hmm. Why would your father think what we've been doing? Do you think your father would approve of the things we've been doing? Oh my, that is a good question. In theory, yes. Although he would worry as my mother does. But I think he of all people would understand my persistence. My father never shied away from a fight for good, no matter how ruthless the foe. And I think he would have enjoyed knowing that I had a compatriot like you. How's your mother doing? What does your mother think about all of this? Well, as you saw, she worries a great deal. She is an excellent seer, but I think it bothers her to this day that she did not see my father's death coming. She misses him, as do I. So I believe on some level she understands my need to seek justice in a small way. But that does not mean that she likes it. Hmm. Are you looking to avenge his death? Do you think taking down the Ashwinders will avenge your father's death? No. Vengeance is not what drives me. My father would not want that. He, and my mother, raised me to believe that it is a privilege to be able to fight for those who cannot. I know there is risk involved, but I feel it is worth it. <laughs> I am glad you seem to think so too. I'm so sorry, Natty. I'm sorry, Natty. I can't imagine what you've been through. Your father sounds exceptional. He was truly extraordinary. And thank you for your kind words. We all have our burdens. My father had a saying about that. Yes, I remember. Rain does not fall on one roof alone. Exactly. Soon you and I will put an end to the Ashwinders, beginning with Harlow. And once he is gone, we will turn our attention to Rookwood. We are making progress, and we will succeed. Thank you again for saving me. You deserve all of the praise you have received. Hmm. Oh, it looks cool in here. I like it. All right, cool. Now to go talk to Fig. Uh, okay, on that. Oh, yeah, he's over there. Uh, I need to go there. And then where are we at? In his office. I believe so. You shouldn't get so upset in Herbology. The rate you're going, you'll need a con. Never seen Devil Snare in the wild. It would be terrifying to him. Alright, frame rate's picked up. Let's go. In the quest. Now here, Professor Fig, the keepers have shown me where the next trial is. Has something changed? Lodgok and I have learned that the goblins are searching for another repository, like the one we saw at Rookwood Castle. And I discovered that they're building massive drills to help in their search. Professor Fitzgerald seemed very concerned. I see. Ranrock clearly knows even more <laughs> than we suspected. And sir, yeah, there's something else. That is true. Lodgok knew Miriam. He knew Miriam? They encountered each other at Rookwood Castle. She was doing research. That's where she found the container with the port key. He liked her so much that he let her leave with it, despite orders from Ranrock. I don't know what to say. She could win over almost anyone. I want to hear more of this. And, in fact, I'd like to speak with Lodgok directly. But we've no time now. Where is the next trial? Believe it or not, it's in the headmaster's office. Incredible. 
All right. You'll need the password to get past the stone gargoyle. The headmaster's house elf will know it. I've actually met Scrope, but I'm not sure he'll tell me. He's rather devoted to the Black family. He is. So you'll need a disguise. I have just the thing. A polyjuice potion. You'll look and sound like Professor Black. Wait, doesn't polyjuice potion require a bit of the person you want to change into? And take ages to brew? It does. So how do you already have polyjuice potion to change into Professor Black? One never knows when such a thing may come in handy. Let's just say I felt the need to be prepared for anything after my fruitless trip to the Ministry on his behalf. Now, time is of the essence. Drink up and I shall explain more. How do you feel? Uh, incredible. I won't forget that taste anytime soon. <clears throat> How do I sound? Convincing. I've taken the liberty of transfiguring your robes. As we discussed, you'll need the password from Scrope, who could be anywhere in the castle. You might look for Professor Kagawa. She's taken to badgering the poor elf about Quidditch in the hopes that he can convince Black to change his mind. Thus far, unsuccessfully. I see. But what if Professor Black sees me? Leave him to me. I shall tell him where to meet a liaison from the Ministry in Hogsmeade. That should give you plenty of time. Thank you, Professor. I suppose we'll meet again in the map chamber. It's rather strange to hear gratitude coming from Professor Black. <laughs> I'll see you there. Now to find the Headmaster's house elf. I'm gonna walk around all slow and ominous like the whole time too. Mm, nah, I'm gonna run. Where is there? So but yeah, the real villain of the game is the frame rates. Cause uh it's it's not just my system, it's everybody's system. Professor, a moment of your time, please. Professor, I was hoping to catch you. I... Oh, I, um, places to be, Professor Sharp. Places to be. Of course, sir. Only, <clears throat> you'd asked me about a particular potion, and I... Well, I... I did? I did, yes. Well, spit it out, Sharp. I don't have all day. Probably best not to discuss it here, sir. I would decide what's best. I assure you, Sharp, you may speak freely. Very well. I've brewed the cure for boils you wanted. I can drop it by your office when it's convenient. <laughs> <coughs> of course, yes. No need for all the cloak and dagger. Simply have a student deliver it. A student. Very well, sir, if you insist. I do. And thank you, Sharp. I just hope you've brewed enough for all my boils. Now, to determine which <laughs> student gets this rather unenviable task. Nice. Chewing with I your mouth open? Where are your manners? Madam Kagawa, where is Madam Has anyone Kagawa? seen my ivory-handled hand mirror? Of course you haven't. What could the headmaster want? Gareth! Uh, uh, Mr. Weasley! What are you doing here? Don't you have uh, somewhere to be? Oh, oh Professor! God, the frame yes, rates. of course. All sorts of places I'd rather be right now. Uh, do you need something from me? I'm looking for my house elf. <laughs> Surely you've seen him? Ah, the little one-eared fellow. I saw him heading to the Great Hall moments <laughs> ago. Muttering on about your, um, sterling graces, sir. I am watching you, Mr. Weasley. Mr. Redding, who owns Honeydukes, tells me some of his billywig stings recently went missing. Prime potion ingredient. And I know you fancy yourself a skilled potioneer. What? But, sir, 
I haven't been anywhere near Honey Toots. <laughs> hey, bah, that's enough from you. Just know that I have eyes and ears everywhere. On your way, Mr. Weasley. Okay. Frame rates, are you going to catch up any moment now? Sheesh. Well, there's one for my diary. He keeps a diary. What the hell? Oh, God. What is up with these frame rates? Jesus. The game's acting like it's chugging along, doing everything. What the hell? It's not even using a processor. Awesome. Okay. Oh, Lord. I mean, out of my way, children. All right. Hold on just a second. See? Like, I load up that. This is fine. Yeah, it's because I have to load everything. I know people out there that are talking, saying things. And has it had a second to catch up? Not exactly. No. Oh, Lord. Maybe there's something else in my system just hogging resources. Oh yeah, there's plenty. Should help it? Maybe. We'll go back. Yeah, not much Professor better. Black. How are you, sir? Oh God, please, please, for the for all that is holy, go. Mr. Gaunt, where do you think you're going? I beg your pardon, sir. I'm simply on my way outside. Taking the day off, eh? Typical student, wasting the hours away. I. I have to write 20 inches on Dittany, and its uses was heading to the greenhouse. Ah, yes. Mixed with, uh, bubo tuba pus makes a, a fine, uh, mustache paste. Yes, mustache paste. Uh, I find. <clears throat> Are you feeling all right, sir? You don't seem yourself. I assure you, I am quite healthy, Gaunt. If I need a medical diagnosis, I shall head to St. Mungo's. <laughs> See, now Something the frame rates are fine. Something is very wrong with Professor Black. Dittany and Pooba Tuba Pass. Mustache paste. Stand proud, pure bloods. <clears throat> the future is yours. <laughs> Professor, nice. a word. Professor Black, again. Oh God! It is not too late to reconsider your decision regarding Quidditch. We. We could still have trials and a somewhat shortened season. It would be better than none at all. But the injury, Madam Kogawa. Professor, more than one student has taken a bludger to the head on our pitch. I dare say it knocked some sense into them. And they are fine now. The fact that it happened to be a pure blood, well, that's no reason to... What nonsense! That you would trivialize the health of a student over a, a silly game. A silly game? I... You are quite impossible sometimes. Sir, I have a good mind to write to the Department of Magical Games and Sports at the Ministry about you. Please do. Good idea. I can even provide the parchment should you need it. Now, where is my elf? I... parchment? Very well, I will, and with pleasure. And I spotted Scrop in the Great Hall. Seems to be avoiding me. Hmm, I wonder why. Good day, Madam Kagawa. Hmm. 
Hmm, I got to be an asshole. Nice. All right. What cool. did we do to deserve him as a headmaster? Why is it now that I'm him? When I witness what passes for magic in these halls, I, uh, I simply mourn for the future of the wizarding world. Oh, Lord, the frame rates. Jesus Christ. It was never this bad when I was out here running around. As my normal self. Oh, God. Maybe if I just stand here for it. Let me pause. Nope. Fine here, and that. That. As if it was the game stuttering, the menus and everything stutters. I know, because that's what I was doing with it at the beginning. And I was just in all the settings. And look at there. Holy shnikey. The frame rates fix itself once I go into the pause menu. Uh huh. This way to the Great Hall, right? Not about anything I've been doing. Oh, wait, yeah. Miss Broom, a word. Oh, Professor, this is an uh, interesting surprise. It's Bloom, by the way. Remind me of your area of affinity, Broom. OWLs are swift approaching. Charms, sir. Nonverbal spells. Might work on one that makes me disappear. Well, keep at it, Broom. And before you know it, you'll be as invisible as that new fifth year seems to be. Well, they're as good as invisible to me, sir. Rotten little extortionist holding my diary hostage. What was that, Broom? Uh, nothing, sir. <laughs> Speaking of invisible, where's my blasted house elf? Something seems a little off. Okay. Let's see here. See? Now the frame rates are fine. But I took a <coughs> second. I wonder almost daily why I accepted this appointment from the Ministry. Am I just saying random shit? That's hilarious. Professor? A word, please. Hello, Professor Black. Ah! Mm -hmm. Professor Weasley! How... how delightful to see you. Sir? Ah! Uh, since I have you here, I wonder if I might, um, speak with you about Professor Fig. Oh, very well. I've decided to give him a bit more, uh, leeway with his time. Leeway, Professor? Are you sure that's wise? I confess I do worry for his students. He's rarely here as it is. Hmm. And I don't miss him. I realize that. And I'd like to keep it that way. I see. But, sir, if I may, I am wary of how much time the new fifth year seems to be spending away from the castle, supposedly on Professor Fig's behalf. I've heard unsettling rumors of their escapades. Everything from sneaking into the Forbidden Forest to confronting Ranrock's loyalists and Rookwood's lot. <coughs> what? <coughs> Goodness. Well, you cannot believe everything you hear, Professor. No, 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 you cannot. <clears throat> I mean, I shall keep an eye on Fig. You simply keep doing the wonderful job that you're doing. <laughs> simply wonderful. I... well, I... Um, thank you. But I'm happy to look into... Uh, good, good. That'll be all, Weasley. I, I mean, Professor Weasley. Good day. See, midway through the conversation. Leeway for Professor Fig? I shall never understand that man. Yeah, midway through the conversation, the frame Professor rates fix some breathing room? fixed themselves. Nice. Once I had time to load everything. Nope, we gotta walk ominously. Oh yes, a slow walk. Screw! Oh, a great 
Greetings, Master. Remind me of the password to my office. Oh, but Master made Scrope swear never to tell anyone. Even Master himself. <laughs> you dare question me? How dare you question me? I've a mind to give you a matching set of ears. Uh, uh, yes, sir. Uh, of course, sir. Uh, Scrope begs forgiveness. It is the Black Family motto, Master. Hmm. Right. Of course. I, uh... Master does remember it. Oh, God. I don't know what the Black Family motto is. Oh, my... Sirius Black mentions it, and it was mentioned further later on without using Black's apartments in, uh, Order of the Phoenix. Oh, shit. Um... It's a, do a shrink, family's reign, purity of blood. I don't forget. I don't remember. Remember, snow too strong. What? Maybe. I doubt it's the snow though. It's the game itself. Um. What's the worst that happens? It's to do with the purity of blood. It's pure bloods forever, isn't it? Uh, uh, close, Master. Uh, Scrope thinks Master is indeed testing Scrope. Uh, it is always pure. <laughs> Obviously. And, of course, as Master knows, in French. Ah, yes, of course. Uh, I order you to pronounce it for me. Oh, Master knows that Scrope's French is most pitiful. <laughs> oh, very well. Uh, toujours pure. Oh, there is another matter, Scrope. I confiscated this filthy diary mm -mm -mm. from a student. It smells of squid and seawater. Oh, Apollonia's diary. <clears throat> that is quite a surprise, Master. What do you wish Scrope to do with this treasure? Uh, uh, rubbish. Whatever you wish, Scrope. It's your treasure. Now, off with you. Polyjuice potion's wearing off. I best get out of sight. Ahem! Attention, students! I hereby decree that the Great Hall be forthwith decorated in the stunning banners of Slytherin. I shall be taking no questions at this time. Or ever. Okay, well, looks like I get to hide as the bottle of juice potion wears off. Oh, there we go. <sighs> Made it just in time. It's wearing off. Nice. Fig was right. I can't believe it worked. Now to speak the password to the gargoyle. Hmm. All right, hold tight. I've got to go check on something right quick. I will be right back momentarily. Uh, if I'm not back in five minutes, just wait longer. Thank you for your understanding.
Well, thank you for your patience, chat. I had to go check on that. Apparently, our dogs are going crazy. Um, but it was a uh, security salesman trying to sell security. Like, ADT. Yeah, ironic. Our dogs alerted us that he was here. So, that said, that's cool. And are the Slytherin? Yes! Aha! Awesome. Nice. Slytherin all the way. Cool. Now, what are some other quests? Do I have any other quests? Hold on. Nope. This is the only one I got. Gotta go to the headmaster's office. Where is it at? There's one closer, isn't it? No, it's over there. It's all the way up those stairs. There. All the way close to the top. The long way to the top. If you want to rock and roll. Okay. Up, up, up and away. Okay, run, run, run. Get all the way up to the top. There's that way. Hold on. What was down this way? Oh, yes. The gargoyle. That's where I need to speak the password. Here we go. Here we go. All right. All right. All right. Toujours pure. Got it. Nice breaking into the headmaster. I wonder office. if all the elite wizarding families have a mood. They probably do. Hold on. There we go. Revelio. Just in case. Revelio. Sleeping portraits. Oh snap. Wait, there's more stuff on the other side. Can I break in here? Yes. Aloha, Mora. There we go. Nice. Okay. Revenue. There's a lot of stuff in here too. Hold on. Let's go there. Hold on. Let me walk over here. Walk over here. Oh, this is his bedroom. We can ransack it. Dear Phineas, the children have been asking about your return. Belvina, in particular, chooses to do s chooses to do so each day at breakfast and is engulfed in a sulk. When I remind her that you're ensuring the quality of her future education. Sirius and Phoenix rarely send, it, send me an owl. Although, when they do, they never mention you. I'm certain they're proud of you and all that you are doing it for Hogwarts. Having one's father as headmaster is a tremendous honor. Merlin helped me. Sickness is now crawling and follows our Arcturus oh my god did they just name all their pet all their children dogs about like an unwelcome shadow Arcturus is be begging for an invisibility potion and frankly I can't blame him I'd be tempted to brew one if it weren't for the eternal sniveling that Cygnus 
would regale me with. Perhaps we shall see you during the next school's holiday. But please don't feel any obligations. We can manage, Ursula. Almost collected everything. Hold on. Is there more over here? Can I not get in there? What's what's wrong with that door? It's good to see you. All thanks to Professor Fig's quick thinking. Now what? Approach the pedestal in the antechamber and read the book that appears what will i find in the book what can i expect to find in the book a story i cannot say more you may recognize some elements of it as i was inspired by a tale with which many wizarding children are familiar hmm very well i suspect there will be more to this than reading a book your suspicions are correct we shall speak when you are finished has this been under the headmaster's nose all this time Apothecary receipt. Cure for boils. One vial. Oh, drink his tea, too. That must be the pedestal. Nope, nope. Okay, so there's more I need to do. Hold on. Rebellion. No. Receipt. Hair tonic. Mustache wax. Fundamen pomade. Comb. Pearl handled. Oh, God. Back scratcher, gold handled, toxicide, paid in very small part, remainder to be billed to ministry. Why is he building a ministry of magic for his hygiene? But there's a pensive dish. Revelio. Okay, can I get through this door? No. Maybe? Hold on. Depulsa. Okay, probably not. Ooh, still his apple. Mm, wait, I was supposed to read the book. I didn't even get a chance to read it. Where am I? Oh. Professor Fitzgerald, can you hear me? I am here. In this place, you may call me Neve. You shall be witness to a fable. Pay attention. Things are not always as they seem. Oh, this is actually you pretty must cool. You move swiftly and cautiously. Use the tools you encounter to find me. In this place, as in life, death takes many forms. Avoid each of them at all costs. Nice. Interesting. I should have run when I could. I'd be free by now. Huh. Oh. 
hope I do not have Revelio. Nor any of my Thank other God. spells. For now, I need to get out of here. Where could Neve be? Uh... I need to time this just right. Nope, keep going, just keep going, keep going. I see a staircase straight ahead. Is it? Where? Where? Do I go underneath that windmill? What the hell? Or is it up to the roof? Oops, oops. Hmm. Well, as soon as that one there moves again, I'm gonna go. There we go. Go, go, go. Oh, there's the staircase. Straight down. Death. Is this the Black Plague? A ladder. Perhaps they won't be able to find me if I go up there. <laughs> Death's Dark Mongrels. Best move while I can. Neve must be here somewhere. Too many. I must cross this road as fast as I can. Cross the road to where? Oh. That was pretty self explanatory. That's where I need to go, but I need to find a way past them. I can't shoot. Okay. Now I need you to do something, sir. <gasps> you turned around. Gotcha. I'm guessing this is a metaphor for the Black Death. The bubonic plague. Nothing this way, but more danger. There must be another way to find you. Hmm. I need to turn back. There's no getting past them that way. Close tight. That doorway looks like the only safe way forward. That doorway, which door? Whoa! There's that guy. Hold on. Hold up. How am How's my chance? How am I supposed to get through there? What? Now's your chance. You go where? Over here? That's the way forward. Oh, nice touch on the vocals. Mysterious cloak. 
Oh, it's the invisibility cloak. I think I'm invisible. This is definitely always. They can't see me at all. I can get closer to them. I am not going to risk it just for the biscuit. Okay? Just say it. This is the way forward. Finally free. Now, where are you, Neve? No. Don't ask me to remember the story of Deathly Hollows because I don't remember. You have outrun death thus far, but have yet to find me. Keep searching, but this time you will be unable to hide. Wield the wand you see before you. Do not squander its extraordinary power. Okay, so... Hold forward, but that's pretty cool. I like it. Mysterious one. It's the elder one. I've never felt such power. Oof, now I got it. <laughs> Okay. Oh, they only give me part of my spells, and they give them two backwards. The pulsar. No, apparently this is not the way to go. Bombada. Oh. Okay. Is there anything up there? No, no, no. Defender. Bombarda. Oh, I just knocked sheep over. Didn't count. Steel. Jesus. Oh, steel. Sheesh. Bombarda. Defender. 
Come on, try again. Stupefy. Bombarda. Bombarda. Depulsor. Descender. Hmm. Bombarda. Depulsor. Descender. Maybe. Okay. Sheesh. God, here I go. More combat. Fighting death. Another one? Protego! Stupefy! To Bolso! Descendo! Bombarda! To Pol- Oh god. Are you shitting me? Just hit me. God damn it, get back. Bombarda. Defender. Oh, now I'm out of fucking spells. Nope. Stupefy. Bombarda. Defender. Damn it. Oh, Lord. Try again. Yeesh. Nope, nope, nope. You can't sit like that. That's bad for my ankles. Ankles and lantern thighs. Okay, cool. I got five potions left. Sheesh. Oh. 
<laughs> Get the fuck off my dick. Shit. How many of these fucking guys are gonna come after me? And I'm supposed to fight this goddamn troll? What? I can't use any items. These spells work in terrible conjunction. Oh my god, are you fucking kidding me? I are you gonna red shirt at our fucking roll? Are you fucking kidding me? God damn it. Bombarda. Defender. Oh. Nice. Okay. Okay. And it's funny is, is that's that's only one of the trolls. It's not even all of the trolls. <laughs> this game. Swear for God. Okay, cool. Skip, skip. Can I skip? Nope. Alright, cool. something
I press R1 to hit the damn thing. Is anybody going to attack me? Oh god, and he hits me from the back with something I can't even block. Oh my god, what the fuck? I guess nobody wants to attack me. It, it doesn't even pop up with the thing in the Jake to fucking deflect. It, and then that's unblockable. God damn it. Are you fucking kidding me? This game, I swear to fucking god. <laughs> okay, that's fine. Complete the battle in time, too. Oh, God. That's just lovely. I'm guessing the fight is set up in a way that only people with ancient magic can do it. The problem is ancient magic isn't doing enough damage. And they give me this three of the spells I don't even fucking use. Four of the spells I don't even use. Charge at me. Mm. Wrong? What? What the? Oh my god! Skip? Nope, can't skip. That's fine. What the? How the fuck did that troll teleport to where I was at to hit me? I see the game wants to cheat. Fine, that's fine. Whatever. Nah, that's cool. Let it do his thing. See, now that's fine. Oh, how the what the Bombada. Did it did it die? What happened? It did die. What the hell?
don't know if I killed it, but okay. Is that it? Bombarder. Defender. That's it? Hmm. Okay. Oh god. That was two trolls at once. Oh god. Got on over there. Wait, oh my god, so that didn't even bother doing any damage to it when it was done. something oh now it's now it's damaged That's what happens when I stand still for too long. Are you going to do something, troll? Or are you just gonna- Oh my god. This is bullshit. charge or no So the secret is to just flash dodge all the way around the ring until the trolls run themselves into the wall and then clean up whatever's left. If it'll run, not, nope, it's just going to do a slow walk. They're going to RP walk the whole way. RP walking. <laughs> A simple stone. This must be for me. This is just a storybook. This ain't even, uh. Oh, yeah, Deathly Hollows. Yep. You are far from finished. Pass through the mourners ahead. Nothing is what it seems. She's gone. 
Dear sweet Neve. Dead. <laughs> Neve. May her memory be I don't have any spells to cast. Ever. This is. You found me, but you cannot undo what has been done. The magic of the stone can only conjure a shadow of my former self. But there is no light without shadow, as there is no shadow without light. Simply because you can eliminate darkness does not always mean that you should. Remember that as you witness my memory. Hmm. Okay. Dora, what you did for your father was remarkable, wasn't it? And Percival needn't worry about the strands of emotion or the traces that this magic leaves. I found a way to contain all of it. You haven't stopped. Goblin Silver. You spoke to a goblin about this. Don't worry, he has no idea what we're containing. We don't know what effect any of this may have. The emotions, the dark traits. You sound like Percival. But as it happens, I do know. It is a source of strength, of focus. Somehow it enhances my ability to wield magic. I don't follow, Isadora. I think we can harness it. Power like this is not to be toyed with in the wrong hands. You saw what I did for my father. Neo, imagine the good we could do. Everyone is in some kind of pain. This must stop. All of it. You've kept this power to yourselves for so long because you fear it. I choose to embrace it. Interesting. So I wonder are they regretting what they did with Isidore? I don't know. Like, are they regretting holding her back? Or is this all just a lesson? I don't know which side of the lesson to learn. Is it true? Has someone completed the first three trials? It is, and I have. But you are so... Young? I know. You must be Professor Bacar. I am. Pleased to meet you. The pensive memory I just witnessed. 
Was Isadora inhaling painful emotions? She was. It was fascinating. I was amazed to see that it seemed to give her some sort of power, and that she could harness it. But how? I worry that you seem more intrigued than repulsed. I hesitate to reveal the location of my pensive to someone who, perhaps, has yet to understand the responsibility of power. I can assure you, Professor, I do. In fact, what you don't yet know is that a dangerous goblin called Ranrock has accessed the repository at Rookwood Castle. He has learned to harness the contents of it as a source of immense power. He plans to use that power against wizardkind. We have no time to waste. I see. Nonetheless, the knowledge you shall gain after you witness my memories is too valuable to share without further consideration. I shall require time to confer with the other keepers. It seems we have no choice but to wait, frustrating as it is. I heard what you told Professor Bakar. Isadora was inhaling emotions to gain power? She was. And she pulled emotions, as she did from her father, from Professor Fitzgerald, without permission. Monstrous. What's more, she said that she found a way to store the traces of magic she extracted in goblin silver. The repositories? Possibly. There's something I didn't get a chance to tell you earlier. Ranrock has been digging at locations tied to the five names he found in the journals of a goblin metal worker named Bragball. Five names? The Keepers, and who else? Isadora Morganak? Precisely. That's how he's been one step ahead of us. Gringotts, the Tower, Rookwood Castle. If the Keepers won't tell you where the next trial is yet, I say we at least maintain a watch on Ranrock. Perhaps he'll lead us to more information. Perhaps. I hope to hear from Lord Gok soon. I haven't heard anything since I learned of the drills. Oh, and as you've probably guessed by now, your Polyjuice plan worked like a charm. I knew it would. I may have done too good a job distracting Black. I had no idea he can't hold his fire whiskey. Nice. Wield a deathly hallow. Yeah, it was a uh, three of them. The one cloak and the uh shit, I forgot what the third one is. Damn it. Why is Sally so Professor Weasley say she didn't even say what this game hold on let me go check quests is it this no 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 where where do I look map challenges collections here post outpost there where was it is that it No, is this it? You've shared with you his experience with the Phoenix. Please check in with him when you get a chance. He has an idea for you that I thought worth exploring. Oh, excuse me. Okay. And then... Who was it? Sebastian? God, I could barely hear what he was saying. Didn't react it bitterly about your goblin friend. I apologize. I hope we can finish what we started with the triptych. Um, please meet me in the southern coast. Coast, uh, we can search for the final canvas piece, Sebastian. Okay. Sheesh, quests in the shadow of the mountain. Okay, one to coast. Requirements, Bombarda. Oh, I gotta go talk to Sebastian. That's the next quest. And then something to do with the Phoenix from Deke. Um, locate on map. What is this? Now I can go down there. Right? I can fly? Or would I have to go through the mountain? 
Sheesh. It's not very clear. It clearly gives you a trail to follow. Like over the mountain. But it's blocked off with a barrier. Unless I can go there now. Oh lord. Don't give me that. Is there more Summoner's Court? What is this? Think rising. That's deep. Okay. Gotcha. And this. Oh god. It's. No. It's not. History of Magic Class. Where's Conjuration Spellcraft? Professor Benz. Huh. Yeah, I'll go do it. Oh, wow. That has me going all over the place. Okay. I guess I'll go there. Seems to be right nearby. Yes, 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 sure, sure. Of course. I wish I could sense his charm. It's violently rank, and it's not me. No, wrong way. Wait, is it? Yes, this way. Hold on. House ghosts can procure rents if need be. No, I picked the wrong way. Damn it. Wait a second. Is there a special? Huh. That is up higher, but then once I get up there, it's down lower. Confringo. Hmm. Are you kidding me? What the hell? Here we go. Oh lord, I should have waited until the In fucking today's frame breaks. lesson, we will cover a truly thrilling event. The Goblin Rebellion of 1752 and all its triumphant tragedy. But more specifically, uh, we will address the devastating effects it had on the wizard milling. No, I didn't get to it fast Absolutely. enough. I set your floor down. We do know the number six hundred and thirty two, but history occurs outside the classroom. And look, it's time for my constitutional. One can practically osmose the history flowing through Hogwarts. I think the professor wants us to follow him. And now for a stroll to the bell tower. Along with the rest of the card drawing is completed in the late early... If you fail history of magic, you're doomed to repeat it. All of the bell towers that loom above it class, contain myriad interesting artifacts. No, Lord, hold on. Give me... Give me a load. Uh. Good to see you again. Recovered from that nasty bout of dragon pox, have we? I, uh, that wasn't me, Professor. I'm new here. Are you? Well, and, uh, welcome. No doubt you're eagerly anticipating my analysis of various wizarding councils, codes, statutes, and, of course, goblin rebellions. 
Not all goblins are rebellious. Some venture into wizarding politics, such as Irgit the Ugly. Some are talented artisans, such as Bragbor the Boastful. Hmm. Bragbor. I know that name. Did you say Bragbor? I know that name. Lord Gok said he was an ancestor of Ranrock. Hmm. Well known for his metalwork. I would imagine much of his goblin wrought iron and silver has survived to this very day. Um, where were we? Oh, oh yes. <clears throat> Back to our class topic for today. Grimbold Weft. Another notable historical figure. Uh, he's right nearby. Rebellion. All students introduce themselves to this hero of Hogwarts. Grimbo's weft was responsible for some of the most important things. This Grimbo sounds like a helpful fellow. Got it. Prepare countless witches and wizards coast during a goblin rebellion. Oh yes, I see you found Grimbold Weft. Yep, I enjoyed the shirt. Yes, I rather enjoyed seeking him out. The thrill of the scholarly pursuit. I know the feeling quite well. Now, let's turn our attention to the agreeability and general good nature of Sir Ash Buttle. He's also nearby. See what you can learn from him for your next assignment. Oh, God. Standing in eternal but symbolic Rebellion. watch over the bell tower is a retinue of loyal knights, or rather, Statues of night. These bits of room are all that's left of a witch Keen called Celine Wartnobby. Rumor has it she was demonstrating her experimental lunar apparition charm. She was never seen again. Wagadu's history is well, not a bit different than that of Hogwarts, to say the least. Nor by slaying bloodthirsty dragons. This is a centuries-old likeness of rebellion. Fearless mouse hunter and devoted study companion. Okay. Hold on. Pause just a second. Let it load up. Back out. There, give it a second to reload. And we're good. I don't know why it does that. And why pausing fixes it. As one would expect. Hogwarts Rebellion. contains no narthexes, since obviously those would not be found in castles. This unassuming smudge is rumored to be the location of the very first successful use of Bombarda. I suppose successful since whoever cast it didn't live to tell the tale. Oh, return to your quest area. What the hell? Rebellion. Mm -hmm. Hogwarts is impervious to the inexorable march of time. Perhaps that is why I admire it so. Waving night. I think I found it. There's nothing quite so magical as Professor Bins, I found the statue of Sir Athapuddle. Ah, well done. Alas, Sir Athapuddle's affability was his undoing. Died instantly trying to befriend a basilisk. Eye contact is not always to be encouraged. 
watched. So beloved was he that even some goblins mourned his passing. Of course, that did not bode well with the rest of the goblins, most of whom could not abide mourning the loss of a wizard. Good God. This man is a bore. Goblins and wizard kind will never trust each other. Yes, well, it takes a cauldron to raise a chispurfle, as they say. Mm, history does tend to repeat. It is a series of patterns, a thought both comforting and disconcerting. The wise student, such as yourself, will learn from it. Oh, thank God. History is written by the... Alright, quest. What do we got? Sky's the limit. Phoenix Rising. Let me go talk to Deke. Yes. Deke, Deke, Deke. But yeah. Pausing the game. Waiting a few seconds. Then unpausing it. Fixes frame rate issues in this game. I don't know why. Uh, travel? Maybe it just has something to do with flushing memory? Moving stuff out of cash? Old stuff? New stuff? I don't know. Really? Well, eat. hold on. I need to uh, make some potions. 25 of them to be exact. Selecting that one? Sheesh, go. done here soon 21 and then I can make these and then just pick this one up and restock yay Deke has some exciting news to share you found a phoenix since you had an idea hello Deke Professor Weasley said you had an idea. Indeed, Deke does. Uh, uh, Deke knows that you want to learn about all sorts of beasts. 
And Deke recently heard rumors of a phoenix nest in a nearby mountain. A phoenix nest? I wonder if it belongs to the phoenix Natty mentioned, the one Harlow and the poacher pack are after. Deke would not doubt it. If Deke has heard of it, surely the nasty poachers have as well, which means it could be in danger. Hmm. I better go and rescue it. Well, I'd better go and rescue it then, hadn't I? Indeed, think so. So majestic a beast should not fall into such vile hands. Deke is not sure why, but Deke feels that saving a phoenix might help to make amends for what happened with Deke's prior master. Deke hopes that you are able to find the phoenix and bring it to the room where it will be safe. Okay. New quests. Phoenix Rising. Okay. Search for the cave. Nesting in a mountain far to the southeast of Hogwarts. Where? Where is it that you were suggesting? Oh, is it open now? Owen oh, is a path through the cave. Through the mines. Okay. That's where I gotta go. What's going on in Hogsmeade? The unique unicorn. Betty Fogberg is terribly worried about her unicorn friend Hazel, who was injured protecting her from wolves. Seems Betty often visits Hazel in Forbidden Forest to rush her and bring her treats. She is concerned for Hazel's safety due to increasing poultry presence and Hazel's injury. Uh, she's hopeful someone can find and take Hazel somewhere safe to heal and would be able to identify her by her beautifully bright and shiny coat. Oh, okay. Well, I'm going to track that one too. And I go take care of everything when I head south. So I could be efficient. Yes. Very, very efficient. We've got dark wizards these days that make Emric the evil look like Yorick the oddball. Has there ever Come been a vampire worth be knowing? Good thing the ministry. What are you up to now? I beg your pardon, but would you mind helping out an old woman? Sure, what's up? Is everything all right? Oh, bless you. Oh, thank you for asking. I'm Betty, Betty Bugbrook, and no, everything is not all right. It's my dear friend Hazel. Oh, she's in trouble. Hazel? Yes. Oh, she's a unicorn. Known her for years. She doesn't like to leave the forest, so I visit her once a week to brush out her mane and bring her some treats. <gasps> her coat is glorious. Well, the last time I saw her, we were violently attacked by a pack of wolves. Hazel, loyal friend that she is, leapt in front to protect me, and in the process, I fear she may have been injured. I'm sorry to hear that to help her but she seems to have gone into hiding out of fear i'd imagine i know you hogwarts students learn a fair bit about caring for beasts perhaps you could find my unicorn friend and get her somewhere safe so that she can heal how did you become friends with her how did you become so close with the unicorn it was luck truly I came across her when she was a little golden foal. Didn't even have a horn yet. Oh, she trusted me straight away. We'd play together for hours. Oh, I do hope she'll be all right. Unicorn hair is a valuable wand core, and I suppose losing a hair or two mightn't hurt her. But I'm terrified those poachers will want her for her blood to keep themselves alive. <gasps> And that is more than I can bear to think of. Hmm. I shall see what I can do. I'll keep an eye out for your unicorn friend and take her to safety if I see her. Oh, you've a good soul. I can always tell. Please, don't risk your own safety, though. I don't know precisely where she is, but I can tell you that her den is north of Hogsmeade. And although I haven't been able to brush her lately... I imagine she still has the brightest, most beautiful coat of her entire herd. Remember, 
You'll know her by her brilliant coat. And be warned, she's a... She may need some convincing to come with you. I need to look for a unicorn with a beautifully bright coat. It sounds as if she's in trouble. Huh, okay. So let me go north of the village. So yeah, apparently Paul's in the game. It's his frame rate issues. What? I feel like I took the long way around, but okay. I'm just trying to get where I can fly. Can I fly it? Can I fly it? There we go. Good. I'm flying. I'm flying. Wee. Wee. We fly. Look. We fly. The hell's up here? Can I even go up here? <gasps> I can go up here. There ain't shit up here, though. Can we go up here? Yes. Okay. The hell? There was a house elf playing up here. He's got a stuffed little toy. Stuffed little toy. It's a Niffler and some other creature he was making up there. It's a beautiful sight. Hmm. I like to assume that it's Scrope. Oh, is it the same unicorn den that I found earlier? I believe it is. Hazel must be here somewhere. There she is. Hold on. I gotta sneak up. Revenue. Come on, Hazel. Is that Hazel, though? Can I see her? No, it's that one. That is Hazel. Oh shit, now, she got her. Now, I'm only... Fuck. Oh shit, hold on. Did she vanish? She vanished. Centaurs. There's a male unicorn. sit here and wait for the unicorn to come back. OK. 
got that reindeer scared the shit out of me. Where is it? An elk? Oh, stag. Oh, Revelio. Where the hell does she go? Where does she go? Revelio. Where the heck did it go? Sheesh. And there's centaurs all over the place. Do not want to fight them. the damn unicorn's tracks. Oh, there she is. Okay, is she still up here? Hold on. She is still running. Sheesh. I can now see her. She's a white dot on the screen. On the map. There she is. Okay. Um, there you go, bro. Arrest the moment. No, you don't. Damn it. Jesus. Uh, okay. The first unicorn I ever got was not this damn difficult. Okay. Arrest the roulette. Oh, 
Oh, I you've got to be, be kidding me. I mean you no harm. Now, now, I'm only trying to help. Are you fucking kidding me? God, oh, you gotta be shitting me. It fucking runs <laughs> off, and I get caught on goddamn tree roots. No, go away. I just want to capture the goddamn unicorn. Here she is. Sweet girl. Come on. Oof. Over the moment. Do cooperate, won't you? Damn it. I gotta sneak up on her again. First unicorn I ever caught was not this bad. Of course, he ran into a wall. Maybe that's the secret. Corner him. So they're up against a wall. Shit, she's onto me. Damn it. Let me go back this way. Gonna come around her. And go right Arrest there. Them. You can't keep your eyes off a pretty lass, you can't. Quit a flick of the frog and you fall to pieces. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. No, you don't. Expelliarmus! Propendo! Confringo! Oh, God. Ugh. Are you kidding me? Okay. Try again. What is she doing? So something terrified her that way. Maybe? Got it. Thank God. I can take Hazel back to a vivarium now. I should let Madam Bugbrook know she's safe. Yes. That relic is the key to saving Anne. I know it. Meet me outside of Feldcroft as soon as you can. Okay, sheesh. Uh, I can barely hear what he's saying, but apparently the relic is key to saving Anne. Meet him outside the Feldcroft. Okay. So, that said, go over here, map, and I need to go to Hawksmead, yes, so I can turn that in, there, talk to her, there, load in, give it a second to register what it's doing, pause the game, then unpause it, and the frame rate should be fine. Oof, oh my buttocks. On another adventure, I are we? Think of the wizarding world today. Oh, will there ever be another wizard as the new instruments are at best? Actually, frame rates are pretty good right now. Did you find my point? Yep, hold on. Yep, seemed good. There. And pause. There, load up, and then talk to her. 
Madam Bugbrook, I found your unicorn friend, Hazel. Oh, what a relief! Is she all right? Are you all right? Do you have a safe place for her to stay? I do. Uh, we're fine, and yes, for fee. We're both fine, and I can keep her safe, I promise. But I wonder if you can help me with the costs of caring for her. Oh, I'm so relieved. And of course, it's worth almost any amount of galleons to make sure my dear girl is cared for. Take good care of Hazel now. Yep. Done. Okay, cool. Uh... Oh wait, no. The unique unicorn, Hazel. Okay, quest. What do we got? In the shadow of hope. Meet Sebastian and Anne outside of Felcroft. Guys, the limit. Phoenix rising. Search for the cave. Hmm. What time is it? Yeah, that time again, chat. Looks like I'm gonna have to hang it up here. In that case, I'm going to go back to the vivarium and release the unicorn. At least. So, let's go here. And then we'll pick up where we left off the last time. Hogwarts map. There we go. Special places. Enough requirement. And drop off the unicorn. Which one should I put? I got a swamp. Big things. You should be proud of all the potions you've brewed. Uh, this one here? Yeah, this should be it. What all I got out here? I got a, a hippogriff, uh, some measles, there, a male and female unicorn. Species limit reached. I am going to take the pumpkins out. So move to inventory. Professor Howen will never believe this. Okay. Yes. Put that in there. Then put him in there. Her. Yep. Her. Him and her. Here we go. Oh, you beat him too. Nice. I need to beat him to get the unicorn hair. Yeah, I can get rid of the Imperio for now. Arrest the momentum. Wait, no. God damn it. No, come back here. No, not feeding. No, that's not what I need it. An idiot. I need to brush them. There we go. Yep, 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 yep. Unicorn hair. Nice. Yep, and then hip grip and a unicorn. Oop. Unicorn hair and hippogriff feather. Nice. I can set up a pretty room. No, I need spells. This one right there. Beast items. Breeding pen, yes. Right there, perfect. And breeding, breed unicorn. Oh, 
Oh, and she is breeding and it will be 30 minutes. Nice, 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 nice. on health potions okay and with that chat i'm going to take a moment to save the game we're going to end our session right here you know thank you for joining me and of course as always uh, if you haven't yet go ahead and follow so you know where i'm going to be streaming again and uh if you're watching this over on youtube don't forget to like the video subscribe and hit the little bell notification so you know when i'm going to be posting videos over there and when i'll be streaming over on youtube as well so that said, hold on, let me double check and make sure there's nobody else streaming right now. Uh, do, 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 do. uh hmm, not anybody that would appreciate a raid, so let me hold off on that. And oh, I just noticed sorry, I missed the notification earlier. I must have stepped away when you when you actually follow but Zonko's joke shop nice <laughs> I like the name so thank you for following it's a pleasure always um all right with that said I am going to did I save the game no I did not let me save it boom save complete and I'm going to exit the game with that y'all have a wonderful evening y'all be safe out there and be kind to each other it's a crazy world out there, so always need to be safe 